is something on the radio Listen to the radio Oh, listen to the radio Let's spend the night together Baby, don't go They the sing National it on the radio The entire state tomorrow night and Wednesday Mostly sunny and breezy today, high of 36 Partly cloudy tonight, lustery, a low of 10 to 20 degrees. Tomorrow, clouds on the increase, snow at night, a high of 33. Wednesday, snow likely, heavy at times, windy, and a high of 32 degrees. And uh, they're predicting anywhere between 7 and 18 inches of snow. Very are. Happy New Year. Hi, Dan. How are you? Happy New Year, politely. Thank you. Uh, a couple of things I know I might take us off the current topic That's okay. a little bit, but uh, one obvious thing is, we Tea Party people are not crazy, we're not anarchists, we are people with a sincere uh, feeling for the Constitution, for lower debt, for things in which are true to our country. So uh, I would ignore what the, the press, the lamestream press says about us and just carry on with what we have to do. And that's another thing that I would like to speak about, is the special elections which are coming up on February 22nd. It's once the Republicans get their candidates selected, that the people, both Republicans and un unaffiliated people, and disaffected Democrats, please, here's your chance to do something for your state to get spending and all the things which are going on in the state under control because the more Republicans we have in the Senate and in the House, the better it is for the people of Connecticut because Republicans do stand for the things which are right, the, the things which the Democratic Party and the Working Families Party, aka ACORN, SEIU, well they are not for the people, they are for perpetuating the bureaucracy. But that is the issue when you think about it. Fiscal responsibility is what particularly Tea Party members want. We, we have spent ourselves into oblivion. We are on the precipice. Are you, were at, you were at the event on Saturday, were you not, at Central? Uh, yes, we were. Uh, Claire, my wife, and I were both at the event uh, at Central Connecticut State University. It was called a statewide town hearing. And uh, we found a uh, quite a large group of people who were committed to conservative constitutional principles uh, as opposed to policies or programs. People are focused on principles and they also uh, provided tremendous amounts of positive support for our Republican Party of United Connecticut looking to move it in the direction of uh, carrying the message uh, to our, our citizens. Skip, good to see you. I'll have you back a bit later. But uh, thank you for spending a few minutes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are fantastically happy to be here at Great Britain. I think I'm at their work. I gave them credit for a whole year. I know they, they were opening themselves up for lots of criticism. And uh, they guys, I think, uh, I would say 90% of the comments in the, in the room were singing our music. They were singing Tea Party Grassroots. Conservative music, they really work. Uh, that leadership has nowhere else to go but to get in front of the Tea Party conservative parade. Uh, if they try to do anything else, uh, you know, try to split the deck with the other side, it's, it's going to be seen and, it, and they're going to hear from us. We have to pull them, uh, we have to pull the line. Do you think they can put some of what should be put into practice in place for the special elections in February? It's going to be tough because, and this is why I wanted to have people start now, for the 2011 November election. This coming up, this soon, is going to be, it's going to be tough. But you know what? We're, we're actually going to get out there. And we, I don't be surprised. I'm not going to talk to
to introduce some of those who call our program so that people can identify, put a, put, put a face and a name together. So I'm going to do that before tonight is over. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for coming. It's always the first one. It's certainly always a special one. And I want to certainly thank our wonderful staff and management here at the Talk of Connecticut for allowing us to go forward. It has been in the talking stages for a couple of years now, and it has finally come to fruition. And I want to begin by mentioning that tonight's dinner with Dan is sponsored in part by Valerie Thomas and Whitney Burr of Valerie Thomas and Associates LLC. Valerie and Whitney Burr are You know it's special when Valerie and Whitney are on board and they're providing room to you and your family with estate and retirement planning and investment needs. So again, a big thank you to Valerie and Whitney. It's great to see you. Now I also know that it's, it's not an official event unless Rusty and Elaine are here. So To eat. I understand we have Peter in Waterbury. Is Peter in Waterbury here with his harmonica? Because it's only appropriate that we begin tonight's event with our national anthem. one of our other sponsors with dinner with Dan tonight. I want to thank from Northwest Hills Credit Union, Paul Rujo and Doreen Roy. Thank you. Thank you. Let's spin. 